Let's take a look through our creative color grading pack called Silver Screen. It's inspired by the cinematic look of the big screen. Lots of contrast, rich colors, the hue transformations are happening in the neutrals and working a lot on the reds. We're looking for big, bold images with this pack. These profiles live in both Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm gonna be doing the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. Let's open up the first image and start exploring the looks. Coming right into the profile browser, I've got my base color look here so I can always mouse over for a before look and go directly in to silver screen. Starting with the first look, Chrome Sunday. It's adding a lot of body to the image. It's darkening it, adding contrast. And actually, this is a great thing about working in the browser like this, is I can close, open up the exposure a bit, maybe the shadows, the blacks. I always want to start from a good balanced place when applying profiles. I don't always know if that's the right place up front, once I apply my profiles, I can choose to go back in and balance after I've already started looking at them. So I'm gonna enter back into the browser. That looks better. Before, after. Next look, drive in. A little bit redder. Ooh, a nice yellow tone over open road, walkie talkie. Overcast, Hemingway. That's a complete switch, putting more blue into the neutrals. Combat Leather, Hell's Angel, Steel Cinema, that's nice, and Thunderbird. So that's a wide range of options, and right off, I really love what Steel Cinema is doing with the contrast. It's really amping everything up, bringing a lot of drama to the grade. Now you can see where I'm mousing over with the jacket. It's doing some really fantastic stuff with the contrast in there. It might be running a little bit hot, so I'm going to dial back the amount just a touch. You can see that's a really dramatic grade with just one click. It's bringing a lot of red into the dress because that contrast is really bringing out the brighter curls and pushing the dark areas back. I really wanna see what this looks like on a very different image. You can see that the last one had a lot of red in it. This one has virtually no red, but you know what? This pack is gonna work effectively on this too because we're dealing with a lot of greens, which is on the opposite side of the spectrum of red. Immediately, I'm gonna jump in and see how these affect it. Chrome Sunday, once again, right off the bat, adding a ton of contrast, a lot of body. Drive-in, shifting those greens more rosy. Open road, more of a green cast. Walkie-talkie. Overcast, that's a cool steely look. Hemingway, a little bit more of a split tone. You can see the purple coming into the dark areas and the greens are getting shifted toward yellow. Combat leather, that's nice. That's really vintage to me. Hell's Angel. Steel Cinema. Once again, that one is really cranking up the contrast. And Thunderbird with a little bit more of a split tone. There were two looks here that I saw that I really liked. The first one being Overcast. I love what it's doing to this space. It's really muting all the green tones and just making it look really steely and dark and really effective in the dark space. But it's a little bit too monochromatic for me. I'm gonna switch to Combat Leather. This look really interacts with the story well because, you know, as the name implies, it's sort of bringing in some of those warm tones. And this to me looks like vintage big screen movie. And I think that this is doing a good job of shifting the base image really into that story space. One of the things with the color that I really like is that some of this red in his skin is being introduced into what were the green tones in the bus. I might try backing it off just a touch. Sometimes it's good to bring back in some of the variability in the hues by reducing these looks. I'm happy. That's a fantastic look. It took me very little time to get there. And now I've got a cinematic feel for an image that may have been pretty ordinary to begin with. That's been a look at Silver Screen using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. I can't wait to see what you do with it.